Hello everyone, welcome to Pediatrics and Neonatology. This video is about the management of non-specifically ill neonate. Early recognition of the serious neonatal illness is an important skill. The nurse or the parent may say that the infant is just not right. So listen, examine the baby carefully and act if any doubt. Any serious disease can present non-specifically. Now the major causes of ill neonate. These include infections, for example group B streptococcus. There may be hypothermia, it is a sign of infection. Then metabolic causes, hypoglycemia or inborn error of metabolism. There may be cardiac causes, for example congenital heart disease or arrhythmias. Gastrointestinal causes include necrotizing and trochoitis. And CNS causes such as intracranial hemorrhage or seizures. Now the presentation. Skin may show paler mottling, peripheral cyanosis, cool peripheries, capillary refill more than 2 seconds. There may be rash or jaundice. Now temperature may be increased or decreased that is hyperthermia or hypothermia. Now CNS examination may reveal lethargy, weak or unusual cry, generalized hypotonia, irritability, jitteriness or seizures. Respiratory examination may show apnea, expiratory grunting, flaring of the nostrils tachypnea, intercoastal or subcoastal recession, and tracheal tug. Now, cardiovascular examination may reveal tachycardia that is more than 160 beats per minute, weak or absent pulses. There may be bradycardia that is less than 80 beats per minute, or in terminal or late stage there may be hypotension. Now, GI examination may reveal vomiting, distended abdomen, diarrhea, bloody stools, abdominal tenderness, bilious vomiting, or aspirate. Now, metabolic workup may show increased or decreased blood glucose or serum calcium levels. Now, the management. Quickly assess airway breathing and circulation. Secure airway, give oxygen if required, and provide ventilatory support if needed. Transfer the baby to the neonatal intensive care unit as soon as possible, and get a nurse or a midwife to accompany you. Now obtain vascular access and if there is circulatory compromise, give 0.9% saline 10 to 20 ml per kg and repeat if necessary. Monitor breathing, arterial oxygen saturation, heart rate, BP and temperature. Now measure blood pressure, blood glucose, urea and electrolytes, full blood count and blood gases. Also consider clotting studies and C-reactive proteins as required. Now ventilate early if there is respiratory failure. Now obtain full septic screen including blood culture. Also get chest x-ray, abdominal x-ray, LP for CSF examination, protein and glucose. Also obtain stool culture and virology. Urine examination and culture and sensitivity should also be done. Consider cranial ultrasound scan if the baby is preterm or is at risk. Now start broad spectrum antibiotics, IV benzyl penicillin and an aminoglycoside, for example gentamicin. Now if there is possibility of listeria infection, then substitute the ampicillin for benzyl penicillin. Now if the baby is more than 48 hours old and if there are indwelling lines before the illness, then consider flucloxacin or vancomycin and gentamicin. If meningitis, then ensure prospectum cover and good CSF penetration, for example, c Now, if all the cultures are negative and index of suspicion of sepsis is low, then antibiotics can be stopped after 48 hours. If not, then treat for 5 to 7 days and change antibiotics according to the sensitivities of the significant identified pathogens. Treat for 14 to 21 days if meningitis is present. If any doubt, then consult the microbiologist. Now, specific treatment should be given as appropriate, for example, correct hypoglycemia. Give inotropic support if there is persistent hypotension. Blood transfusion if there is significant hemorrhage. Then, fresh frozen plasma or clotting factors to correct the disseminated intravascular coagulation. Okay friends, thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more informative videos.